Good morning, class. So we are beginning Unit 5, and it is a focus on division. Division with whole numbers as well as division with decimals. And so we're going to start out with some basic division. You began completing problems similar to these in third grade. We also reviewed them at the beginning of this school year before we started Unit 1. But we're going to start out slow where you get some good review with division, and then we'll move into um, division with decimals. All right, so today it says complete each division. Check your answer. We're going to go ahead and just practice some together. And I know that they are review, but we're going to go ahead and get started here. Number one, we have 5 into 4,820, or 4,820 divided by 5. Before we get started, I'm actually going to just quickly review our division vocabulary. Um, remember this number here that is being broken into parts. That is the dividend, D-I-V-I-D-E-N-D, -I -I -D -E dividend. So the number that's being broken up into um, equal parts. And in this case, this number is being broken up into five equal parts. Okay, So the dividend is being broken up into five equal parts. These five equal parts here, Okay, it's that, that uh, they're, you're dividing by is the divisor, D-I-V-I-S-O-R. The divisor is the number that you are dividing the dividend by. And then your last one up here is your answer, and your answer is qual called your quotient, Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T, quotient. And we did review these already, but I just wanted to give you a quick refresher of our vocabulary terms when we're completing division problems. Now we can get started on our division. We're going to ask ourselves how many times 5 can go into 4,820. Well, we'll start right at the beginning. How many times can 5 go into 4? 0, because 5 is larger than 4. How many times can 5 go into 48? Well, 9, because 5 times 9 is equal to 45. So we line up our 45 below the 48, and we subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3, and 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, and we can do our check by making sure that our remainder, which in this case is 3, is less than 5. And it is. Now we can go ahead and bring down our next number. So here we're going to bring down the 2. And now how many times can 5 go into 32? Well, we know 5 can go into 32 6 times because 5 times 6 is equal to 30. And we're going to line it up again and then complete our subtraction. 2 minus 0 is equal to 2, and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Complete our check again. What's left? Our remainder here is 2. And we have to make sure it's less than our divisor, which is 5, and it is. So we're good to go. If it were larger, that would mean that the divisor could go in one more time. So we have a remainder of 2. Now we need to go in and bring down our next 0 here. We take that 0, pull it, and bring it down. And then how many times can 5 go into 20? Well, we know that 5 can go into 24 times because 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. And so your answer is going to be 964. And there's no remainder. 964 work on the next one together. We have the number 8, or the divisor of 8, and it's going into the d dividend 7,548. We can ask ourselves first, how many times can 8 go into 7? 0. 8 is larger the set than 7. How many times can 8 go into 75? Well, I know that 8 times 9 is equal to 72, so it's going to be 9. 8 times 9 is 72. And now I line it up, and I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Do my check. Make sure that my remainder, 3, is less than my divisor, which is 8. And it is. So we are good to go to the next step. Let's go ahead and bring down our 4. And we have now 34. Well, how many times can 8 go into 34? 8 times 4 is equal to 32. And so it's going to be 4. And I'm going to line it up. And it's 34 minus 32. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Do your quick check. Make sure that your remainder is less than your divisor. And it is. So you're good to go to the next step. Let's go ahead and bring down our 8. So now, how many times can 8 go into 28? 8 times 3 
is equal to 24. And so I can go ahead and subtract. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So I'm left with a remainder of 4. And in these problems today, if there's no more numbers following, we're just going to write remainder. So R of 4, remainder 4. So your answer is going to be 943, remainder 4 for number 2. We have a divisor of 9, and it is going to into the dividend 7,535. So 7,535 divided by 9. How many times can 9 go into 7? 0, because 9 is larger than 7. 75, well, it's going to be 8, because we know that 9 times 8 is equal to 72. I'm going to line it up and go ahead and subtract. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, and 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Complete your check. Make sure that what you're left with, your remainder, is less than your divisor. And in this case, 3 is less than 9, so you're good to go. And we can go ahead now and bring down our next number, which is a 3. And 9 can go into 33 three times, because 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And we can go ahead and subtract. In this case, we're going to have to borrow. The 3 is going to become a 13. This 3 is going to become a 2. And 13 minus 7 is equal to... Minus 2 is equal to 0. And now you're going to complete your check again and make sure that your remainder is less than your divisor. We have 6, and it is less than 9, so you're good to go. And we can move on to the next step. Bring down our next number, and in this case, that's a 5. Though that 9 times 7 is equal to 63, and that's as close as we're going to get without going over, so we're going to subtract from there. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Complete your quick check. Make sure that your remainder here, it's a 2, is less than your divisor of 9, and it is, so you're good to go. So you are left with a remainder of 2 because you have no more numbers over here that we're bringing down. So we can go ahead and stop there, and you're left with a remainder of 2. And so your answer is 800. 37, remainder 2. 9 on your own. We then have some word problems, and they say solve. Use estimation to check the solution. Okay, let's go ahead and complete number 10 together. It says, Miss Wong drove between Chicago and St. Louis eight times last month. Altogether, she drove 2,376 miles. How far is it from Chicago to St. Louis? Well, if she drove to St. Louis, between St. Louis and Chicago eight times, we're going to have to take our total number of miles and divide that by eight. So we have 2,376, and we're dividing that by eight. It cannot go into two because eight is larger than two. And 8 can go into 23, 2 times. 8 times 2 is 16. If we did 8 times 3, it would be 24. That would be 1 too large. So we can go ahead and subtract here. 3 becomes a 13, and the 2 becomes a 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. You can do your quick check. Make sure that your remainder is less than your divisor. And we have a remainder of 7, a divisor of 8. So it is less, and we're good to go. And let's go ahead then and bring down our next number. The next number is a 7, and so our number is 77. We can go into 77 9 times because 8 times 9 is equal to 72. And we can go ahead and subtract. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5, and 7 minus 7 is 0. You can go ahead then again and check that your remainder, oops, less then your divisor, and 5 is less than 8, so you're good to go. You can bring down your next number, and that's a 6. 56, because 8 times 7 is equal to 56. And 56 minus 56 is 0, so you do not have a remainder. So we now know that, that there are 297 miles between Chicago and St. Louis. Go ahead and complete the rest of this page on your own. 
Um, make sure that when you're finished, you check your work. Remember, remainders, you can go ahead and leave them as are and then whatever the remainder is on this page. Um, make sure you take a picture of your work, attach it to your assignment, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.